Alright, it's finally time to replace this old beastie. I don't think I ever got any footage of it, but I did throw a compressor in this unit a couple years ago, three years ago or something like that, and it put a big old cleanup dryer on it and did my best. I think it did a triple E back as well. like a 30 year old is a good one actually so the fact that it lasted as long as it did and then got a couple more years out of it with the compressor that's not bad but definitely time to get rid of it now so I'll be replacing this in the air handler I uh, replaced the line set also uh, do all, all new conduit and stuff like that so move the location a little bit too probably so about 95 out here today it's about four o'clock so it's cooking The recovery machine out. Uh, if the compressor worked, I'd just probably pump it down and recover it at my house at my leisure, but you know, recover it. Out, so. As you can see, it's a place compressor. It's a, it wasn't quite the exact uh, part number, so fit in there pretty good, but I had to kind of refit some stuff. Like I said, if we were to dunk that in some, even just cold water or something like that, I would uh, speed up the recovery process quite a bit, but it it'll get there. Rather than expanding, it's condensing it. Exactly, right. Alright, recovery's done. I didn't time it, but it was pretty quick. You know, the old uh, G5 twin there. Uh, it usually recovers down pretty quick, so we're ready to start cutting this thing loose. Probably going to start downstairs there and there, actually. As it's existing here, uh, we only have one 40 amp circuit feeding everything. So we're going to at least separate that into two circuits one for the condenser and one for the air handler. I pulled all the guts out of the air handler to make it a little easier to get out of this kind of cramped space here. And uh, I'm just going to disconnect the plenums next and then take the box out. All right, air handler's out. Tomorrow we'll be installing the new one, along with the new line set, and uh, doing pulling probably a new circuit as well. All right, you guys tell me if that looks level to you or not. You know, I'm thinking it's pretty sweet, but. They don't seem to think so. Just want to show you the angle again. Guess that's not level enough for this one. Well, as they say, it's more than one way to skin a cat. But either way, the cat's not going to like it. So I had to put it on a tilt to get the faulty tilt sensor to work. So, uh, but that's good enough to get my condenser swapped out. So, fuck you, Sunbelt. Okay, for our application here, we need to swap. Um, we need need a our returns on the left, our discharges on the right. Uh, this is set up for a right hand return and a left hand discharge. So, uh, I'm looking at the instructions right now. But the first thing we do is pull this coil out and then do, do something. <laughs> and I get the flash on here. There we go. All right, so my game plan is to hang it. I don't know how well you can see it, but there's 
what is that? Ins this kind of tin foil kind of insulation stuff is ripped. You gotta put one. So that's one joist right there. And there's another one. You know, two bays over there. And I'm thinking I can put a run four pieces of all thread, two on this side, two on that side. And that should trapeze the unit pretty nicely. Um, if not, if that doesn't look like it's going to be sufficient, then I'll um, just mount using those two same anchor points, mount unit strut there and just run it long on either side and then trapeze it closer to the end of the unit. But I'm pretty sure grabbing it in the middle is going to be fine. That's where most of the weight is anyways. Um, we have to run, grab power. Oh, the camera's all out of focus. No. Jeez. Gonna grab power for our air handler out of uh, this open J box right here. This three quarters just running over and uh, hooking up two outlets. Um, so there, this tenant's hasn't moved in here. They've been using it as storage, but they're they haven't really set up the electrical the way they want anyways. So uh, they were cool with me taking whatever circuit I need. So that's also where our 40 amp comes in for the condenser. Our 40 amp circuit that's laying there. We're gonna transfer that to EMT down below here and then run that up for the disconnect and then we'll run from this J box directly to the air handler. I saved the switch that was on there. So we'll use that as our air handler disconnect. And that'll be that'll be that. Got the unit converted for right hand discharge. So you got the green pan and stuff down in that corner where, where it belongs for this application. And I'm pretty sure I gotta do something with the blower too. Uh, flip it around or whatever, you know, get it blowing air, blowing air the right way. So that'll be that. So uh, just cutting the all threads right now. Just wanted to show you the tool I use for this. It's pretty cool. I'm not sure how how common it is. I've seen a lot of guys just do it with an angle grinder or whatever, but I really like the uh, the precision and the speed of this. like that and you get no burrs on the threads always cuts clean every time so I need two more of those then I always cut the cut the unit strut with the chop saw okay I'm getting ready to mount the all thread um, like I said I'm going to probably push that back a little bit I'm going to mount one Sammy right here. Obviously, this duct and con you know, conduit here is kind of as far back as we're going to want it. So, I mount my first one, center it on there. And as you can see, that it gives you a nice little, they're called Sammy's. Or I'm not sure, that's the brand name. I'm not sure what the technical term for that is, but it's basically a little lag bolt with a uh, female 3 8 thread. So I'm gonna run the threaded rod right up in there. Put her nut on here. Oh, right after I said my little, yeah, it's just a little burr. <laughs> See, right after I just start talking off the whole thread cutter. But, I'm gonna need two hands to get it in there, but you get the idea, right? Yeah, there it goes. Kind of adjust it around a bit. So, and I like to run a, a lock nut on there too. So I'll, I'll actually unthread that and put a put a lock nut right on there. Oops, the lock nut. Put a lock nut right up there so it can't. Not that it wants to come out, but. I always like to add that extra layer of security. So I do the same thing, mount one over here, the same distance, and then measure 26 in towards me, and uh, that'll be our four points. Just a little quick demo of how I do the, the altered the unistrut connection there. I use the um, inch and a half by three eighths fender on the bottom, and then an inch and a quarter fender on the top that fits inside the strut. You can force these, but they kind of bend and they don't, these fit in, they just take up the width of the strut perfectly. So you do it top and bottom, lock it on there. Uh, 
might double double out the bottom too, but uh, if you have these two smashed together, this bottom block now would be redundant really. So got our all threads up there. So I'm gonna go ahead and mount these on the hanging ones, just like that, and then we'll slide the unit into position and then run the all threads up on the other side. Okay, so I got my circuit isolated here that I'm going to use. This is, like I said, this is our 40 amp, so I've labeled that for condensing unit. And uh, as it turns out, the circuit I want to grab onto, which is just the most convenient one right there, is uh, just so happens to be right above there. So we have the air handler unit AHU and condensing unit CU right next to each other. So, sweet. A little lapse in concentration there. Uh, I'm going to need to actually get two uh, two breakers two twenties because uh, 208 duh I was thinking it was 120 I don't know why but uh, so all I'm gonna do to accomplish that is take the former neutral wire and go ahead and phase it and uh, I'll take that wire off and just put a wire nut on it kind of an interesting um Definitely kind of an unusual brand of uh, breaker panel here. I'm just looking at the way the breaker's mounted in there, it's kind of unusually clamped onto the bus bars back there. Kind of a unique package, but so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to end up grabbing these 220s right here, and then so uh, we'll leave the blue where it is, and then disconnect that black, cap it off, and hook up the former neutral there. All right, we got the air handler hanging there, as you can see. We did just go for the trapeze method and over the middle. It's nice and level. And uh, my buddy, being the good buddy that he is, is going to go ahead and hook up the plenums for me now. That's the, that's the kind of buddy you keep. And I'm going to get started on grabbing my electrical for the air handler out of, right over there. We got our electrical hooked up here now. Oops. That's how it happens, living life by the drop. So I'm going to change that to represent the fact that it's taking two breakers and not just one. But uh, yeah, I got everything landed in this box here. We got there. Whip going over there so we can hook it up. Picking up the plenums there. Alright, local time is about 7.30. Sun's going down. A little breeze coming through. It's actually feeling kind of nice. Our airport adjacent here. Locals will know which one. There's our piece of shit lift. And if you look way off in the distance, where's the zoom on this thing? There we go. You can see a brown turd. Good riddance. Good. There's our new condenser in all its glory. Dream heat pump. Split system. This is a three ton, right? Mm. Yeah, 36. Three ton. It's pretty sure about that. But, yeah, never hurts to double check. Um, my one complaint is I don't like, and I'm sure I can just stuff them in there, but I don't like the idea. The implication is I'm supposed to just make the thermostat connections out here in the air. purpose was to not have it like the old one where it was just had the thermostat wire dangling out in space so I'll see what I can do with that I'd like to have make the connections inside I'd like to bring up the so I'd like to bring up the power in half inch GMT and the uh, thermostat in half inch liquid tight but we'll see we'll see what options I have here I haven't opened up the panel yet careful not to fall off there off the roof here, be good, very sweet. 
Um, yeah, yeah, it's uh, you know, nice. Didn't receive any shipping damage. So boys did a good job. Didn't uh, I guess they weren't playing forklift derby that day. I uh, got a nice little filter dryer included in here, which is very handy because I actually forgot to grab one. I would have had to run back to my house for that, so or the supply house rather, or something. I don't think I have one in the van, so would have to figure figure her out one way or the other. So we'll uh, we'll get that in there. On a new system, I mean, it's a new line set, new air handler, and new condensing unit. Filter dryers. If if you do if you're doing everything right, brazing with nitrogen and uh, nice deep evacuation, filter dryer is really not necessary. But um, you know, I always uh, like to follow standard procedure when possible. So I'll get this the rest of the way unboxed, and that's our that's all we had left of the line set on the new side. So it's a very short run. Obviously, it's just going straight down into the into the loft space directly below. So. Collector party on the porch. I think I like the location of this for everything. You pop the line set out right there. Make some nice, sexy bends with the tubing, tubing bender. And uh, run the disconnect up. Eh, not so sure what I'm going to do with that yet. I have a, I have a dura block at my disposal. I have the edge, of the end of this block at my disposal. Uh, I think I will probably end up just putting getting some kind of L bracket action off of there and mount the disconnect up like that. I really, especially on this unit, there's really no good, I don't like to mount them to the condenser ever, but on this unit there's really not a place that doesn't interfere with service, so um, I'll put it on its own. So that's not too bad. On the package units you mount it on the plenum, that's, that's, that's okay in my book. It keeps it out of the, out of the service guys way, but so yeah, I think I like this orientation though. Um, pop the filter dryer in there somewhere, maybe over here on the street. Have a tight, tight hole, but that's how we like them, right? <laughs> All plenum hooked up. We're on line set and electrical up through there. Got our uh, new circuit ran for the little, uh, little janky. Would like to be had more time for that, but we just don't. Disconnect switch there, and we're uh, ready to start putting some line set in. I think. We have our disconnect installed. So we're in the EXC. There's a transition couple in here. Line set all fit up. We have to put some pretty nice bends in it with the, use the reverse bend on the three quarter there. So we're gonna fit it up on the roof. All right, all braised up and pulling a vacuum right now. Gotta start filling in the insulation. Gotta hook up uh, high voltage there. And a control voltage over here. Reattach that duct. Release the charge. Strap this bulb. Got a little bit to do that. Hook up the condensate. All right, we're on that. She's up and running. Uh, local time is about 9, 9 15 p.m. here. It's a nice short line set. Oh yeah, she's cold already for sure. This one is actually mine. Yeah. 
51 there it looks like, but I don't know. It's a pretty short line set. So, 45 degree saturation temperature. So we're running, yeah, not much super heat at the moment. 48. And not a lot of super heat. I'm um, not sure what the uh, what the manufacturer chart says, um, but if you got any super heat, you're not slugging the compressor, so pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking this thing's gonna run pretty good. Three times. Seven and a half seems to be. Yeah. Now let's check on this one again. But here's how everything ended up looking. Pretty nice, I think. Beautiful. Is that 54? Oh, it's still dropping. Yeah. 53. Three. Yeah, I think 53 is probably about as good as we're going to get. Oh. Fifty-two, he says. Dang, man. I think it's refrigerating. Fifty-two, we're going to call it. Fifty-one. Yeah. Ain't bad. Now, of course, the return is not quite that warm. This is the kind of hot wall here, but uh, not bad. I'm getting for sure getting a 20 plus split out of there, so I think they'll be happy with that. The air handler. Pretty good. We gotta hook up the condensate P trap still. We need to reuse the old one here. Nah, it's kind of janky, but whatever. That's what we got time for. Good, especially on this, this cool evening we have here. Relatively cool. Thank you.